These other guys have no chance. It's a portrait of me. Oh, it's yeah. a portrait of It's you. a portrait of me. Ah, okay. Yeah. You're in the picture? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Can I try to make you look as sexy as possible? Oh. Which shouldn't be hard. No, thank you. I appreciate that. All the other guys made fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> now, what was the most difficult part of it? Just getting you to look as good as possible. So you're gonna make him look cooler, and make him look like an Instagram model, gonna make him look like an idiot too, so it should be fun. Let's go. Welcome back ladies and gents. For those of you who are new, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel. It's the May 2-4 Victoria Day long weekend here in Canada and as most Canadians are, I'm up north with my buddies and you know, we decided that having a few beers and just chilling, it's good, but you know what would make it better? Some competition as you know, most boys, they just love to compete. I'm gonna put the boys to the test to see who can take the best portrait of me. Rules are simple, they're gonna have the 24 to 105 or the 85 millimeter. I'm gonna let them choose on their own and then we'll see who comes up with the best photos. I'm gonna let them decide literally everything, where the photo's taken, how I'm posed, what they wanna do with it, all in their hands. The only thing I'm scared about is giving my dumb friends my 1DX. Do I trust them? Is anything gonna go wrong? I guess we're about to find out. Four men will enter. Four m men will also leave, I, I guess, but only one will win. All right, so the first guy up is none other than Spats. Spats and I just came back from Thailand, so I think you have like a little bit of an advantage over the other guys. I've seen a little bit of things. First thing you have to decide, do you want to use that 24 to 105 lens or this 85 millimeter lens? Let's go 24. Okay, he's going with the 24 millimeter lens. That's right. Now, we're gonna talk about what you wanna do. What's your idea? Where do you wanna go? What do you wanna shoot? Let's let's walk around the property and see what's going on. Sure. Let's do it. Spats is deciding where we're gonna shoot. He just said off camera that he has no idea. That's not a good start. You're probably no not idea. gonna win the competition with that kind of <laughs> attitude. There's forests, there's the deck, there's the dock. Oh no, there's no dock, it's not in yet. No. There's a fire pit. I mean, we're in, Cottage country, everybody's gonna go for the lake shot. Yeah. Do you wanna be different or do you wanna see if you can take a better lake shot? Hmm. Let's walk around. Alright. We continue our journey. It's gotta be a shot of me. It's of a portrait you. of me. Oh, it's yeah. a portrait of me. It's you. a portrait of me. Ah, okay. Yeah. So and whoever you're... takes the best portrait of me and wins. With just a nice background. Could be a nice background, could be in the trees, could be lying on the grass. It's all up to you. I have no idea, man. Zero preparation for this. Well, you should have done your homework. Uh, yeah, I like that propane tank. Okay. He's going with the <laughs> propane. Are you going with the propane tank? No. That propane tank right there. No, you can go anywhere on the property. What's that little hut over there? There's a hut down there. There's a hut. You can go in the trees, in the forest. Maybe let's see this nice line of trees there. Bats is heading towards the line of trees, the front of the property. Can you climb trees well? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do whatever you need me to do for the shoot. All right, I'm gonna find the tallest tree here. <laughs> I feel like uh, I might have bit off more than I could chew here. I think I'm gonna get this line of trees. So he's gonna shoot down the line of trees. This is the line of trees that he's talking about. Oh, he's choosing a different line of trees now. Okay, he's sticking to this line of trees, ladies and gents. <laughs> he's on the move again. I don't know if he's happy with his location. Might be a change of thought here. Change of thought, uh-oh. Where is this guy going? So Spatz is actually getting kind of smart about it. He has the phone in his hand and he's pre-planning his shots. He's looking at it through the viewfinder to see what he's gonna capture and where he's gonna pose me. And I'm actually pretty impressed. I don't know, Spatz might be an early contender even though no one else has gone yet. You're gonna put me on that tree? Yeah. What's the game plan? Like, what are you gonna have me do? Okay, he's going for the, the classic tree, tree hugger, hugger move. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. All right. I'm gonna hand over the camera and it's photo time, baby. So we're done shooting. I'm gonna flash Spatz's final shot on the screen right here. Tell me what was like the most difficult part about that? You know, it's a cloudy day. It's not really a nice day out. The options are pretty limited. Just some, you know, it's still spring. There's a lot of like dead trees around and just hard to work with with the landscape and the uh, weather today. How was the model? Model was great, 10 out of 10, <laughs> nah, for sure. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, okay. It's a given. He's just sucking up so that he wins. <laughs> uh, what was the easiest part? Pressing the click button <laughs> on the camera. 
<laughs> there you go, folks. Photography, super simple. <laughs> Just press the click button on the camera. Next up is gonna be Lombo. Lombo, you were actually the first guy to make a cameo on the vlog. I was. That was way back in the long exposure night photography video. That's right. If you haven't watched that, I'll put it up in the top corner. Go yep. check it out. What is your strategy? What's the game plan? What's your idea? What are you gonna have me do? So, a couple things. I'm gonna make Daniel look cooler than he is. Um, Daniel actually helped me in university. He helped me get through photojournalism. So I'm gonna use the same techniques that he taught me. These other guys have no chance. So we're gonna make him look cooler and make him look like an Instagram model. Gonna make him look like an idiot too. So it should be fun. Let's go. For the record, I'm actually all of those things. An Instagram model, super cool. And I did help him with his photojournalism class. Two A pluses. Like, okay, the most so. important thing was just like the composition of the photo, right? The framing, uh, the rule of thirds, um, and then all the other important things that I remember. So, <laughs> you just mentioned framing and rule of thirds. Bats is the only one that has gone before him, but he's already like, <laughs> you're already like way and above. You're, you're doing this. great. Yeah. Are we walking in the direction you want to go? Yeah, definitely. Wow, conveniently enough, Lumbo has chosen the same area Spats was in. No. Nope. The first one I'm gonna get Daniel to do, um, and I'm sure he'll pan and do something cool to show you, but there's like a really long road. I want that open road look. So it'll be something where he's contemplating life. Uh, maybe he's thinking about what he's gonna have for dinner. I don't know, I don't know what he thinks about really, but he's gonna look like he's thinking about something important. I never think about important things. Lum, which lens are you gonna go with? You're gonna go with the 24 to 105 that gives you a bigger field of view, or are you gonna go with the 85 that has the shallow depth of field? I'm gonna go with the 24 that gives me that, that nice view that you just spoke about. 24 to 105 seems to be the popular choice thus far. How are you gonna pose me? What's the game plan in terms of I'm that? I'm gonna get Daniel to walk very casually and slowly, and also I'm gonna do like a burst photo where hopefully I can take a couple, capture that perfect moment in one of those few because sometimes you miss that, so. Um, I think that's gonna just give me that better, better chance of capturing it. So I have a couple other ideas too. I want to get um, a photo of Daniel in, in the background with like the grass right in the foreground to make him look like a giant. Um, and I don't know, maybe he's thinking about something. That's that's my theme. That's the theme we're going with here. And then laying in the grass. Maybe I'll sprinkle some grass on him, a little salt bay action. That's it. All right, let's finish it up. So the next one, I want you to be like, put the smoke in your mouth. I'm going to give you a lighter. I want you to be really angry. Just staring off with the grass in front and just angry. For the record, ladies and gentlemen at home, it's just a prop. Yeah, don't don't smoke. Don't I don't smoke. smoke. I will never smoke. I don't smoke. It's bad for you. It's bad. We don't smoke. Just bad. It's just a prop to look, make him look cool. I told but, you. We yeah, had but to, smoking's not cool. To make him look worse. Yeah. <laughs> he's so tired of me being supreme. <laughs> That's right. That he's trying to take me down a peg. Don't Thank smoke you. at home, kids. It's bad for you. God damn it. So. I don't know if it's gonna make the cut because I haven't seen the photos yet and the competition's not done, but I just ate a schnoz load of grass and I'm just gonna insert that picture right here so you can see. That was a great idea on Lum's part. And he's got another idea, so we're gonna fire that one up and who knows, let's see, let's see if he's got what it takes. How do you think that went? It was fun, first off. It wasn't too too bad. You're a very willing and capable model. Thank you. Yeah, it was good. I, I really wanted to focus on the nature and kind of have you just also there. We'll see. I hope I win. I think I have a chance. What was the most difficult part? You know what? I didn't realize how, not agile, but like, you gotta be willing to crouch and get low or get from above. That angle that you're shooting from is really important and that's not something you'd think of right away. All right, so the man sounds like he knows what he's talking about, but can his pictures back it up? We will find out. I don't know who the next shooter is. We're gonna go get them. So far, we're two shooters in. I noticed neither of them have decided to shoot portrait mode. All the shots have been landscape, so is that gonna play in? Is it gonna need cropping? Who knows? Who's next? Between you two. Rock, yeah. paper, scissors. Yeah, oh, Costa's just stepping up. Now the boss is coming. Third up is my boy Costa. Costa, which lens are you gonna go with? Uh, I think we're gonna go with the wide angle. Okay, yeah, is there any particular reason? Uh, no, uh, well, I think we could probably get more of the landscape, uh, right. show a bit of the ruggedness of the Canadian Shield. So far, all my friends are including the landscape, which makes me think I'm an ugly human being, but hey, well, they you, have a plan. You're in the picture? <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think we're gonna get you up on these rocks here, uh, probably sitting, maybe arm draped over your knee, 
sort of looking out on the lake, contemplating. So, so you're gonna make me look smarter than I am? Yeah. That's always good. All right, let's get into it. Koss is just weighing it out right now. He's looking at the landscape. He's he's framing it in his mind right now. Look at him. He's adventurous. He's figuring it out. Koss, how do you think that went? Uh, I think it went pretty good. Yep. Uh, took a couple of good ones. Uh, a couple of them you're gonna have to do get your work cut up for you in post, <laughs> but uh, I think it went all right. Did you, what did you think was the hardest part about it? Probably getting you to pose. Get into a pose that I thought looked pretty good. Cool. I mean, like I said, I think it's, we're at the cottage, so I wanted to get the lake in, incorporated yeah, into, my, into my shots, yeah. That's a good call. All right, buddy, let's see how all you right. do. Next guy up and the final guy in the contest is Ty, so let's see what he's got. All right, Ty, you're the final competitor. Walk me through your strategy. My strategy is to use my animal to my advantage, you know. The ladies love animals. He loves the ladies, and I'm just gonna try to make you look as sexy as possible. Oh. Which shouldn't be hard. No, thank you. I appreciate that. All the other guys made fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what, what, am, what are you gonna have me do? First, I'm gonna have you sit down here, and I'm gonna get some side shots with you and the dog. I'm just gonna see, uh, see what we can get going here. You have a choice to make. You have the 24 to 105, which is a wide angle lens. You'll capture more of the surrounding area. Or you have the 85 millimeter, which gives you shallower depth of field, and it'll be a more blurry. That's my animal prop going crazy right now. <laughs> uh, do I can go? only choose one? You have to pick one. I want the wider angle one. Okay, wide angle. All four of the boys went with the wide angle, so let's see. Pretty even playing field. Okay, so Ty's got another idea. He's putting the dog away, and that's a little bit concerning because he's a bit of a wild card. <clears throat> and I don't know what I've gotten myself into here, so. What's the game plan for number two? You're getting paddled. Oh, that's... Keep in mind, this is like a family friendly, so. Oh, I meant getting paddled in the most family friendly way as possible. <laughs> Perfect. Who doesn't like to get paddled in a family friendly way? All right, so I'm gonna have you on the end rock over there, and yep. you're gonna have the paddle just kind of chilling on your hips. You okay? And you're gonna be looking out at the lake, and I'm gonna be getting some of the water in the background, and okay. hopefully we get a good shot. So I will give you the camera now, let's do it. How do you think you went? How do you think it's gonna stack up compared to the other guys? You know what, like, I'm a pretty creative guy, so I'm not really concerned, like, at all. Um, I saw you there, and when I taken the shots, I just thought I, thought I had this in the bag from the beginning. Right on. Um, yeah, I'm just happy I got my paddle back. You uh, you didn't damage it or anything, or else I'd be stuck on my long canoeing trips with no paddle and have to doggy kick. Would I'm not you doing say that again. you would be up <laughs> creek without a paddle? Okay. I would. Now, what was the most difficult part of it? Nothing. I'm just a natural. But um, if I had to pick something, uh, just getting you to look as good as possible. That's um, tough. Yeah, no, that's... Uh, and I also... I photoshop myself a lot to do that. No, just coming up with ideas. Like, just being confident in your ideas. I think that's the hardest part. It's yeah. just, you have an idea, and maybe um, you're a little insecure about how it's going to turn out, but just, you don't know until you try, so... That's there you go. Thought. You don't know until you try. There you have it, folks. Everybody has taken their photos. All that's left now is to vote on who wins. You guys, comment down below, and you can determine who the best non-photographer photographer is. Go! There you have it, folks. That was a lot of fun. It's amazing to me to see what my friends can do and how differently they think as opposed to the way I think. I mean, they don't understand the technical aspect of it, which is understandable, they're not photographers, but they think creatively in how they wanna set up their shots and what they wanna do. The execution maybe not there, again, from the technical standpoint, but it was a ton of fun. I think you guys should let me know down below if you want me to keep doing things like this. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, leave a comment, be like, hey Dan, guess what? That was hilarious, except you're a terrible model. I need to be in better shape to be a model. Anyway, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Love ya!